As a creative business owner, never mix up your need for validation with smart business decisions. Never mix that up. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Barry Salkis and in this channel, we talk about photography and filmmaking. In this video, I wanna talk about Vero and I'd like to give you guys my opinions and my perspective on this app. Before we dig right in there, let's talk about what Vero is. Vero is a somewhat new social media platform that came out a few years ago, didn't do too well, and now it's basically back on display and it's being pushed by a bunch of influencers. Vero gives you the ability to post photos, your favorite movies, books, music, you can add close friends, you can chat with them. It's a cool app and I think it's a unique idea. It basically gives you the opportunity to be even more social or just share more things about your life. Why is Vero so popular right now? That's because Instagram is a weird place to be in right now. As you probably know, Instagram switched their entire content focus on short form video content. They're trying to compete with TikTok, which is their number one competitor right now. With the video being a huge focus on Instagram, photography has taken the back seat and photographers are not happy about it, myself included. But I get it, this is a business choice. We can't look at Instagram only from the shoes of photographers. We have to look at it as a whole and generally people want to consume short form video. If people weren't consuming it, they wouldn't do it. So yes, photographers are not happy with Instagram. So Vero came out of nowhere to say, hey photographers, we like you guys. You can upload your photos in a horizontal, vertical, whichever way you'd like. And you can create a community on here. And as harsh as this sounds, feel validated. Remember this, validation and dopamine spike. In my opinion, this is why social media exists in today's world. Yes, there's information exchange. Yes, there's the community aspect of social media, but deep down in reality, it does one thing to many people. It's a perfect method to give you a dopamine spike. So Vero is strictly taking advantage of this situation. Photographers aren't happy with Instagram. Vero comes in and says they're welcoming photographers and it obviously attracts photographers. And I find that a lot of people who are on Vero are photographers. Vero is a lot like 500px. It's a web platform that allows photographers to share their work and they can actually even sell their photos as stock photography if it matches specific guidelines. So Vero is a social media version of basically 500px right now. To me, that's what I feel like. The reason why I got Vero was to see what the hype is about. So I went on there, looked at it, it's just a bunch of photographers. If you are a photographer or a filmmaker that is a hobbyist, I think this is a good platform. There's a sense of community on there and there's a good hype right now. So a lot more people are engaging with the content on there. So that's cool. If you are a hobbyist, feel free to spend all your time on Vero. What if, like me, you are a photography and a video production professional. You say goodbye to Instagram because Instagram doesn't like photography anymore. It doesn't favor your content anymore. So you take your business elsewhere, such as a platform full of photographers and filmmakers. As a business owner, I don't wanna market my business surrounded with photographers. I need to find business owner to be able to do work for them. I need to find brands to be able to do work for them. So I need my work to be seen. Imagine I wasn't on YouTube. I was putting my videos on Vimeo. Who's on Vimeo? If you guys know that platform, it's basically YouTube, but for filmmakers. I would have a difficult luck getting clients. I've got quite a few clients through my YouTube videos. As crazy as it sounds, I talk about photography and filmmaking. I do some short films and sometimes it lands in front of my clients or potential clients and they're really happy and I get into conversations. So imagine I was just in a platform surrounded with photographers that like my photos and comment on my photos. That would resolve one thing. It would validate me. It would give me that dopamine spike. But that shouldn't be the point of social media. If the point for you is to meet other photographers and support each other and learn photography, and if you don't care about finding clients, Vero may be the best option for you. But if you wanna do influencer marketing, if you have a business where you need people to see you, your best bet 
is to adapt to what Instagram is doing and try to innovate your business into being a part of this modern day social media. This would be a good place to have a website sponsor in this video to talk about. You don't only need a social media, you can also display your portfolio in your own website. But this video does not have a sponsor. And what I'm seeing is that Vero is is sort of taking advantage of this situation because photographers are, are, are not happy. They now post photos that when things were normal, they would get maybe 300 likes. Now they're getting 50 likes. So as an artist, it hurts you. And you know, social media being so fast and, and content consumption being so fast, I feel like photography has lost its meaning because if that one photo does better, we think that that photo is a better photo because it validates us. It gives us that dopamine spike. We wanna go create more photographs and upload them. It's, it's a weird race. And I wouldn't want Vero or people hoping that Vero is promising them this. If that is the reason why you are switching over to Vero to get more likes, to feel that, you know, validation, that may not be right for you. So let's wrap it up. Is Vero a good platform? I think it's a well-designed platform. I hope its strategy is not to give people false hopes. And I hope that people don't go to that platform because their Instagram is not doing well to chase a dopamine spike and validation. Because that is becoming the meaning of social media and, and it's horrible to see. And I myself see effects of this too. If you are doing photography and filmmaking as a hobby, I think Vero could be a good platform for you to meet new people and only see artistic stuff rather than TikTok videos or Instagram Reels videos that you may not enjoy. If you are a business owner who's in the industry of photography and filmmaking, I think that it's it's a bad decision for you to switch off from big social media platforms and go to Vero. It's perfectly fine to have Vero on the side and maybe use that as discovering new people and finding new people to maybe hire and stuff like that. It's good for that. I don't think it's an investment that's gonna be rich in return. If you are leaving an audience, an active audience, no matter how you get in touch with that audience, it could be a video or a photo, to leave that and to go somewhere that there potentially is no clients for you right now. And as a creative business owner, Never mix up your need for validation with smart business decisions. Never mix that up. And lastly, acknowledge what social media is about and acknowledge the effects that it might have on you. So don't let any company take advantage of the situation that you are in right now because no matter what happens, art always wins. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't leave yet. I was just editing this video and I saw my friend Anthony released his video about Vero versus Instagram and he covered it a little differently. I'll leave the video right here. Go check it out and subscribe to Anthony's channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you've been around for a while, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.